All right, crew, back again. Here we're going to be checking out the new Radeon Pro W6800 from AMD in SolidWorks. And yeah, we're just gonna open up a big file and see how it does. All right, let's take a look. All right, so we're gonna start off by looking at some of the specs, right? I mean, essentially the Radeon Pro 6800 is like direct competition for an RTX A5000, right? At least that's the way I kind of see it. So um, here I'm just on um, AMD's webpage here. We're looking at um, uh, specifically how much RAM it has. It has uh, 32 gigs of RAM. One of the differences between a 5000 and a 6800 would be like the memory interface. Um, here we have 256. Um, you know, as far as RAM goes, RAM intensive software, like 32 gigs, I still feel like is a whole lot, right? Um, you know, like the RTX A6000 has 48 gigs, I believe. That's even more, of course, but um, all in all, like everything points to this being a really good workstation, SolidWorks GPU. So I've gone ahead and loaded up this iconic, right? Uh, uh, telescope assembly slash observatory assembly. And I just like to run this one. It's got a ton of components. It's, it's got a ton of sub assemblies, um, a ton of mates at the, at the master assembly level, as well as just a whole bunch of mates at each sub assembly level. So it's a relatively robust file, right? It takes about five minutes to load. And I have my task manager here on the right hand side for full transparency running the um, Threadripper 3990X, but I'm not hyper-threaded or SMT'd. It's just 64 cores, not 128. Um, memory, I have 128 gigs of RAM, and then we're looking at the Radeon Pro W6800, right? Now, we're gonna be looking at um, this 3D graph. I'm also gonna try something new here with Compute 1, 0, and 3. We're gonna see if we can find anything on there. So I'm just gonna start off with some rotates, and we should see a spike over here on our graph. I'm using about six gigs of VRAM for this file. And it looks like, man, it looks like I only get it at about 60%. So, you know, something of this complexity is definitely in the work, the workhorse. It's in the field of this GPU, right? So if you've been struggling with some very large files and you're looking for an upgrade, maybe a W6800 is a way to go. The W Pro 6800, right? The workstation variant. So this is this is very nice. It's very clean as as far as the frame rate goes on the screen. It's a it's a tad bit cleaner when I'm not recording. So when I'm recording, I can see just a little bit. But when I'm not recording, it's very smooth, right? Um, and there's no real lag or anything like that. There's no visual things that I'm catching, and then no interface or lag or lack of interface between my mouse and the model still in that that 60 percent range so let's go ahead and bump this up now we're going to go ahead and change this to shaded with edges typically that does take a second to load we get the spinning wheel of death and we're back and now we're loaded so now with shaded with edges you can see it does tax it just a tad bit more we're we're at the 66 percent i think is where i got it to just a second ago um the zoom in, zoom out frame rate has taken a small hit. Um, it's more instantaneous and less smooth, I suppose. But the rotating still is exactly the same. So haven't lost anything on the rotate here. Okay, let's try one more thing. I'm going to try just some hotkeys here. I'm going to go through control one through control seven. So control one is your front view. A little bit of delay some artifacting, control two, control three, four, small hesitations. Hard to say if that's CPU based or GPU based because I am I am pinging my CPU at like 10% now. Might be a single thread operation there that's, that's working together. A little bit of delay in the view here. So the snapping, it does take a second for those lines to render. We're at 77% when I just do the snaps. This is something new that I found out. I do snapping, um, I can tax the GPU just a little bit more. 
So there is the isometric view, and that got up to 76%. Still well within the means of the GPU, but that's that's kind of the 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 uh, performance to expect. And I've gone through and tested these with with you know a plethora of GPUs now with the control one through control seven. It's all about the same. Let's try the spacebar button in addition to. So spacebar gives us our view cube. There is a little bit, little bit of lag when I when I mouse from one view to the next, it's generating that preview. And that preview, especially with all those lines, does take a, a second to load. But as long as you're patient with it, it's good, right? Um, it's safe to say that I would probably opt just to rotate this thing rather than snap to a particular view. All right, so I just pulled up some technical specs, uh, some comparisons that have been done online, some benchmarks. We're comparing the RTX A5000 with the A6000, or the uh, Radeon Pro 6800, rather. The, the These prices are way off. The RTX 5000 is about $2,800, and the Radeon Pro is about $6,800. And here we just see from Dell, it's $2,700, and then the Radeon Pro from B&H is about $2,200. So... Pretty much in the same ballpark. I feel like if you're spending two grand on a card, you've kind of made that decision that you want to buy something really nice. So is that 500 bucks extra worth the squeeze, right? Um, their performance rating brings the, the A5000 at 8 and the W6800 at 29. Uh, the memory on the 5000 is at 24 gigs, but the memory bus width is 384 bit as opposed to 256 bit. So there is a little bit difference there. You certainly do get a little more bang for your buck. One of the things I really do like there, though, is that the all the Radeon Pro cards seem to have a, a have more outputs. And so I'm running four monitors plus VR. I can really use that fifth output. Unfortunately, NVIDIA didn't give us that, which is kind of a bummer. But with the Radeon Pro, I have six, and I'm able to use all four monitors and the VR headset simultaneously. So that's a big bonus in my book. All right, so let's wrap this up. 32 gigs of RAM, 256 bit bandwidth, six outputs on the Radeon Pro W6800, two of which that can support 8K, which is a bonus, right? And then having more than, if you, I mean, if you have more than four monitors or three monitors plus VR, you're really going to need those extra outputs. Uh, price savings when you compare it to an A5000 or even an A6000, massive savings. And all in all, run solid works like a champ, right? Can't complain. Hey, this is Adam Hughes. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. I hope you learned something new. If you have any questions, throw them in chat below, throw them in the comment below. And uh, yeah, I'll do my best to get around to it. You guys take care. Have a good one. Fight on.